Hello everyone, here's another video and today we will talk about the extended modules of the Thrustmaster TCA Quadrant. I won't go into detail uh, regarding the thrust lever set itself. I've already made a uh, video on this and if you'd like to review this one then uh, here's the link to it. The add-on set to the TCA Quadrant uh, includes the flap lever assembly, the rudder trim switch, with the rudder trim reset button and also the parking brake. On the other side we have the spoiler lever and uh, the landing gear switch as well as the auto brake switch. The quadrant is made of a solid plastic and sits comfortably on a desk or if you so wish on a special uh, table mount. As you can hear, the spoiler lever has several switch positions and so uh, there's a tactile feedback to it. Uh, the same goes uh, for the flap lever, which has nice detents for all the positions. The parking brake lever springs either into the on or off positions. Uh, the rudder trim also has a nicely spring-loaded center position. And for the auto brake uh, selector, you have several positions. Uh, disarm, brake to vacate, low, two, three, and high, which is obviously not correct for the A320 series. I guess uh, they wanted to make it compatible to other Airbus add-ons out there. However, these are uh, button positions, so we can't uh, map these buttons to uh, the mentioned auto brake settings in the A320. Last but not least, we come to the landing gear lever. It uh, snaps also in the up and down positions, which is uh, very nice. By the way, the assembly of the unit uh, is extremely simple. All you need is a screwdriver. All the connectors and the cables are included uh, when you buy the add-on. Let us now have a look at the setup procedure. First of all, in X-Plane 11 uh, with the TOLIS. And here um, the peripherals are all um, recognized automatically and I think pretty much all the buttons and switches and levers were correctly pre-configured uh, here in the TOLIS, which is uh, very nice indeed. Now let's have a look at it uh, here in practice. Currently uh, trying to intercept the ILS. Now selecting flaps 2. Here comes the landing gear. And here comes flaps three. And flaps four. I'll show you now a typical go round in the A320. So we'll uh, select the thrust to toga power. Call out will be go around flaps. Put the flaps one notch up. So in this case, config three, positive rate of climb, gear up. So we're being commanded for climb power. So pulling the thrust levers two notches back into the climb notch. Accelerating config 1, or it would be config 1 plus F now. And once we're above the S speed marker, we'll put the flaps to 0. So you can see this is one of the real strong points of having such peripherals. Um, you have all the levers, uh, switches uh, right at your hand, at your fingertips. And so uh, these kind of procedures, these kind of uh, maneuvers are very easy to do. In uh, prepared, it is a little bit more complicated to uh, set the TCA quadrant up. Uh, when you start the um, FS Labs for the first time, it uh, will register your Thrustmaster TCA quadrant and will ask you if you want uh, the program to automatically configure the uh, TCA quadrant for you. Next, you want to go into the prepared uh, configuration menu and make sure that you have the controllers enabled there. Even if you are using FSUIPC, just make sure that the box there is ticked. 
And then under FSLab's input commands, you can check that the automatic setup has worked. All the TCA quadrant uh, switches, levers have been uh, detected. Now, it doesn't matter where you have uh, selected your throttle input axes, either in prepared itself or uh, through FSUIPC. What you need to do, however, is go into the MCU options menu and then under, under controls, which is on the third page, go to thrust levers. Uh, make sure that I have reverse on stick um, active and then go to detent zones. By default, you'll be uh, getting the level one adjusted. So you can see the range goes from minus 1.0 all the way up to plus 1.0. And so now you can configure the um, detent zones, uh, ranging from the reverse, going to um, idle reverse, then to forward idle, then the uh, climb notch, the flex MCT notch, and then the toga range. Now this does take a bit of time uh, and make sure you don't have the zones too tight. Um, you can see my settings uh, that I'm inputting now, uh, which work uh, quite good for me. It might be different on your system, however. Uh, so do take the time and carefully set these zones. Once you are happy with uh, the settings, you can simply copy the settings over to the thrust lever number two. For that, press the right direction error and then uh, just simply press copy from one. You don't need to set anything else, just press copy from one, confirm that. And now the thrust lever number two has exactly the same settings and they should be working uh, just fine. So the rest of the buttons and switches work uh, perfectly. So the engine master switches, the uh, rail trim, etc. And one thing though you, that you have to set up as well, go back into options again, then uh, controls. Uh, there you have a prompt uh, for the flaps. Now, strangely enough, the flap lever on the TCA quadrant is actually uh, an axis. Um, so not button controlled, but axis controlled. So you have your full range again from plus one to minus one. And so, uh, just like for the thrust lever gates, you have to set gates or notches, if you like, um, for these different flap settings. Same principle, you just uh, move the flap lever and then just set the correct gate positions for each of the flap settings. Fairly straightforward, not too complicated. And then once that process is completed, uh, you'll have the correct uh, flap movement uh, corresponding to the TCA quadrant flap lever position. The spoiler lever should work um, automatically uh, since it is using button control and I have found uh, no issues with the installation of that. So now let's see the quadrant here in action in the FS Labs. We are in Naples, Italy and we are departing out of runway 06. Positive right, gear up. Passing thrust to reduction altitude, we set the climb power.
once with S speed accelerating flaps zero. So now let's have a look at flying an approach with the TCA quadrant. We're about to intercept the localizer on uh, runway 06, flaps 1. Yeah, we are just a little bit fast, so let's uh, use some speed brakes. Help slow down the aircraft. Tracting speed brakes again, going flaps two, gear down, here comes flaps three. And flaps for final setting. So now we're going to go uh, fly manually and for us that is manual thrust and manual flight so the disconnect uh, switches on the thrust levers actually work which is nice and from here on it is all manual flight and here in the simulator it's already looking very beautiful and I can tell you that in real life this approach is absolutely magnificent Now the approach itself here at runway 06 is also quite uh, challenging. You can see that uh, it's actually an offset approach. Um, also a little steeper than normal glide path. And the runway is uh, not that long. So if you're flying here with a larger aircraft like a heavy 321 for example, uh, that is quite a challenge. Just looking at the volcano there, the Vesuv. Incredible. One thousand. Nicely in the touchdown zone, happy with that. Here comes the reverse thrust. Yeah, we're gonna get, get it a uh, good reverse thrust here. We've got diesel spoilers. 
idle reverse and forward idle again. So the quadrant here helps a lot uh, trying to manage everything. There's no need to pan around with the cockpit view. All the switches, buttons, levers are there, which also creates a lot more immersion into the flight sim. So let's have a quick look into Microsoft Flight Sim. And uh, at the moment, December 16th, 2020, um, the complete quadrant is actually working, even though it's not showing completely here on the right hand side of the picture. But I can assure you all the uh, levers, like the spoiler lever as well, the flap lever, all of these uh, do work, are registered um, by, the, uh, by the sim. So here you can see the spoiler axis yeah, and the flap lever axis is working as well. There we go. Yeah, so like I said before, uh, the flap lever, spoiler lever, parking brake lever, uh, thrust levers, uh, same with reverse thrusts, all working nicely. The engine master switches work with the on and off position. Um, and the only thing I found was um, the ignition start switch. Uh, that goes to ignition start or the crank mode. However, when you try to set it to normal again, uh, that does not work with the TC quadrant. So you have to put that uh, switch to the normal position uh, manually here uh, in the uh, VC. And again, the setup uh, worked pretty much out of the box. There wasn't much to be changed in the uh, setup menu, which is quite comfortable. And that concludes the video here on the TCA quadrant. So the full quadrant, including spoiler lever and flap lever unit. Even though it is made of, out of plastic, uh, it is uh, good quality. Um, the complete set here is also quite heavy. Uh, sits nicely on the desk. Uh, but however, if you want, there is a table mount available from Thrustmaster perfectly uh, fitting this uh, unit. And uh, so maybe you want to have a look at that as well. Now, since it's Christmas in a week's time, may I all wish you a very happy and Merry Christmas season. Also, all the best uh, for the next year. Uh, let's hope it will be a lot brighter and uh, positive than uh, 2020. Take care and as always... Have happy landings.